That is a black full stencil youngster that I added yesterday. Still a squeaker. It's hard to see the stenciling, like when the birds are there, but you can see it now, now in the tail. When you spread the tail out, you can see the stenciling, and it's gonna get better as it ages. They've been flying pretty good. And the beautiful thing, knock on wood, what I'm impressed is that the hawks are starting to come back because I had a small break for a while with the hawks. They didn't come. And by the way, look at that, that's my neighbor's small chicken over there. They come to the yard every day. The mornings are like now getting a little bit chilly, but, uh, but yeah, the hawks are coming back and you know they of course they try to swipe at these birds and yesterday i thought i lost one but apparently i didn't it uh, came back it was missing for the night but uh so as soon as the hawks come they start off <laughs> that is when you can see you know uh how the <laughs> birds how well they fly when they're fighting for their life they fly really good like right now i let them out they're just lounging around a little bit later, they might take a couple of rounds. And again, I'm not training them properly because I don't have enough time. And I just like seeing birds flying around. That's exactly the bird, that blue check over there. It's the youngest one out of the group too, it's a squeaker, but it's out of that stage. That's the one I thought I lost yesterday, but out of nowhere, it came back this morning because I saw the hawk came a few times yesterday and they all were flying in different directions. They're a bit friendly. Like I'm very close to this bird over here. Most of them I'm quite close. Better. Uh, next year I still have birds. I'm gonna uh, switch this up and have rollers. I think it'll be more fun to have rollers flying. Well, that's it quick video i thought when they were in the garden i love watching them look right over there they go into the pond take a sip from the pond right now that's where they go and drink the water even though there's water inside the coop the, the pond is full of uh water hyacinth and that's how smart the birds are they started like you know there was not enough room over there to drink the water i don't know if you guys paid attention kind of used the beak and moved the hyacinths around and drank water I hope they learn this thing where as some of the hawks kids try to trap in. Because long time ago when I used to fly birds, I used to have Gaudetana powders. And they're like Spanish powders with big crops and it's beautiful to watch them fly. And I used to have this Gaudetano male. I only flew one Gaudetano male. And this was the time when I was flying everything. I, I didn't have that many birds, but I had so many breeds. Everybody was, I didn't have no fly pens, everybody was out. And, you know, some of the birds come out, the others stayed in. The Gardetano male, uh, you know, as soon as it sees the hawks, it would come straight back to the coop and hide. It was one of the smartest birds I ever had. Like, that's the only bird, as soon as it sees the hawks, it just go back inside the coop, fly. You can see it, like, all of a sudden it's flying and going inside the coop. A coop. Then you look around, there's a hawk flying up in the air. So, very smart bird. But that's it.